Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome to our daily devotional for this week, Monday, 3rd of May to Friday, 7th May, 2021. I would like to thank the senior pastors of Revival Time Assembly, Pastor Lloyd and Norma Hart, for giving me the opportunity to share on this platform. The topic of this week's devotion is the power of motherhood. On Sunday night, May, the world celebrates Mother's Day. And this topic chosen by our pastors is most appropriate. Let me first define the words power and motherhood. Power can be defined as the ability to do things by virtue, strength, skills, wisdom, resources, or authorization. We all know that Power comes from God through the Holy Spirit. There is no one definition of motherhood. It's an accumulation of many things, a combination of raw emotions, experiences, and our hopes and dreams for our children, community, society, and by extension, world. Attributes of a God-fearing mother are unconditional love, compassion, sacrifice, courage, determination, faith, and trust in God. Motherhood is, however, one of the most sacred journeys you will travel in life. Every mother has their own path to motherhood, regardless of status, religion, race, cultural differences, or background. This journey to becoming a powerful mother is amped up by the reliance, relationship, and faith in God Hence, the rewards are tremendous. I will use five mothers from the Bible who exhibited the power of motherhood. Firstly, we have Moses' mother. In the book of Exodus, reading from Exodus chapter 1, verse 22, And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born he shall cast into the river, and every daughter he shall save alive. Continuing into Exodus chapter 2, verse 3 to 10. And when she could not longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes and dubbed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein, and she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. And his sister stood afar off to wit what would be done unto him. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her handmaidens walked along by the river's side. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women? that she may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. And the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called his name Moses, and she said, Because I drew him out of the water. Here we see this mother was courageous and determined to save her son's life. Every good mother has a plan. Even though there was a decree of death made by Pharaoh for the sons of the Hebrew women who were slaves, the favor of God was upon her. She took the leap of faith in God to save him, she gained the reward of not only being able to nurture him, but God used him as a grown man to deliver the Hebrew people from the bondage and slavery of Egypt. I want to thank God today that this woman exhibited courage, braveness. She decided that God was the one she was going to obey. She decided that even though a decree of death was made against her son, she was going to save her son's life. Today, I would like to pray for every mother. Father and God, I pray for every mother on this platform here and, for, and by extension in church, in the churches 
I pray, O oh God, that you would continue to guide them and protect them and to keep them, that they would embrace motherhood, O oh God. They would understand, O oh God, the power that they have as mothers, O oh God. They will not shirk their duties. They will not shirk, O oh God, their God-fearing and God-given calling, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that you would continue, O oh God, to minister to each and every mother and their children in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you.